Welcome to edupediaworld.com. This is Somja J. Nair, your online biology tutor. In this video, we will be discussing about principles of inheritance and variation. What is inheritance? Inheritance is the process by which characters are passed on from parent to progeny. It is the basis of heredity. Examples, earlobe attachment and tongue rolling seen in humans. Some people have attached earlobe. Some have detached. Some people can roll their tongue. Some can't roll their tongue. What is variation? Variation is the degree by which progeny differ from their parents. Example, hair color and eye color seen in humans. Parents may have blonde hair while the progeny may have black hair color. Similarly, the eye colors. Genetic variation is not only seen in animals but also seen in plants. Example, genetic variation in maize plants. One of the main causes of variation was hidden in sexual reproduction. The variation that were naturally present in the wild population of plants and animals were exploited to selectively breed and select for organisms that possessed desirable characters. Without knowing the scientific basis of the phenomenon, humans used to cross wild varieties of plants and animals from early BC. For example, Sahiwal cows in Punjab. Through artificial selection and domestication from ancestral wild variety, the hybrid variety was developed in India. For thousands of years, farmers have been selectively breeding their plants and animals to produce more useful hybrids. Since the actual mechanism governing the inheritance or variation were unknown, it was always a hit or miss process. There were number of hypotheses suggested to explain the heredity at that time. But Grigor Mendel was the only one who succeeded in this. He was a European monk and was a great scientist who was working on the plant. He conducted experiments on garden pea plant for 7 years. It is from 1856 to 1863. The law of inheritance in living organism was proposed by Mendel. He investigated the characters in garden pea plant that were manifested as two opposing traits. For height, he studied tallness and darkness and for color, he studied yellow color and green color of the seed. Mendel conducted artificial pollination or cross-pollination experiments using several true breeding pea lines. A true breeding line is always called a pure breed. It always passes down certain phenotypic trait from the parent to its progeny. What is a true breeding plant? A true breeding plant is a plant which continuously self-pollinate and show the stable trait of inheritance and expression for several generations. Seven pairs of contrasting traits in pea plants studied by Mendel. He selected 14 true breeding pea plant varieties as pairs which were similar except for one character with contrasting trait. The below table is the representation of contrasting traits studied by Mendel. For stem height, he studied tall or dark. And for flower color, he studied violet color and white color. Flower position, he selected axial position or terminal position. Pot shape, he selected inflated or constricted pot. Pot color selected was green or yellow and he selected the seed shape as round or wrinkled and seed color as yellow or green color. Inheritance of one gene. To study the inheritance of one gene, mental crows, tall plant and dark pea plant. Seeds produced as a result of the crows of this tall and dark plant were collected and grew them to generate the first hybrid generation. The first hybrid generation is otherwise called the filial progeny or the F1 progeny. All the F1 progeny plants were tall in nature like one of its parents. None of them were dark. Similar observation was seen for other pairs of traits also. F1 progeny always resembled either one of the parents and the other trait in parent was not seen in any of the progeny. Mendel then self-pollinated the tall F1 plants and produced the F2 generation. In F2 generation, both the parental traits were expressed. For example, 1 by 4 of the plants were dark in nature and 3 by 4 were tall in nature. 
Diagrammatic representation of monohybrid crows. Here you can see a tall plan is crossed with a dark plan and produced the F1 generation. Both the tall plants in the F1 generation were self-pollinated and produced the F2 generation. In F2 generation, both tall plants and dark plants were present in a ratio of 3 is to 1. What are factors? Based on the observation, Mendel proposed that something was being stably passed down or unchanged from parents to offsprings through the gametes over successive generations. The factors are otherwise called genes. The genes are the units of inheritance. They contain the information that is required to express particular traits. Genes which code for a pair of contrasting traits are known as alleles. Genotypes and phenotypes. Alphabetical symbols are used to, to represent each gene. For example, in case of character height, capital T is used for tall trait and small t is used for dark trait. Capital T and small t are alleles of each other. Mendel proposed that in a true breeding plant, tall or dark P varieties, the allelic pairs of genes for height are identical or homozygous in nature. Capital T, capital T and small t, small t are called the genotype of the plant while the descriptive terms tall and dark are the phenotypic terms of the plant. Dominant and recessive factor. Mendel found that the phenotype of F1 heterozygous capital T, small t is exactly like the homozygous capital T, capital T parent in appearance. And the reason behind this similarity is that in a pair of dissimilar trait, one dominate over the other. The dominating trait is called the dominant factor and the other trait is called the recessive factor. Here the trait tallness is dominating over the trait darkness. Capital T is the representation of the dominant character and the lowercase alphabet small t is used to represent the recessive character. In homozygotes, the alleles will be similar. For example, capital T, capital T is the representation of homozygous tall plant and small t, small t is the representation of homozygous dark plant. And alleles can also be dissimilar like a heterozygous plant. Monohybrid and dihybrid cross. A monohybrid cross is a cross in which only one trait is studied. A dihybrid cross is a cross in which two traits are studied. The first picture is a representation of monohybrid cross. In this monohybrid cross, they have studied the character height. Here you can see they crossed a tall plant with a dark plant. The tall plant is homozygous capital T capital T and it always produces the gamete with capital T. The dark plant is homozygous small t, small t and it also produces the gamut with small t. The crossing of this resulted in a heterozygous tall plant. The tall plant is heterozygous in nature with capital T and small t and it always produces gamut with dissimilar characters, one with capital T and other with small t. And the self-pollination of this resulted in the F2 generation with tall and dark plant in the ratio of 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. The second picture is a representation of dihybrid cross. Here two characters of the plant is studied. The two characters are round yellow seeded plant and wrinkled green seeded plant. Both the plant producing the corresponding gametes and in F1 generation they produced round yellow seeded plants and self pollination of that resulted in the F2 generation with round yellow seeded plant, round green seeded plant, wrinkled yellow seeded plants and wrinkled green seeded plant in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Pinnet square. Pinnet square is developed by British geneticist Rinald C. Pinnet. It is the graphical representation to calculate the probability of all possible genotypes of offsprings in a genetic cross. The possible gametes are written on two sides. Usually the top row of the square
square and the left column of the square. This is a diagrammatic representation of a Pinot square used to understand a typical monohybrid cross conducted by Mendel between true breeding tall plant and a true breeding dark plant. Here you can see a tall plant is crossed with a dark plant. The gamut produced by tall plant is written on one side and the gametes produced by dark plant is kept on the other side. You can see that in F1 generation all plants are heterozygous in nature and these heterozygous plants produce dissimilar gametes one with capital T and other with small t. In both sides of the pinnate square it is written and the self-pollination of this F1 generation resulted in the F2 generation. There you can see the plants with tall nature and dark nature and the phenotypic ratio for the tallness is to darkness is 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. What is a test cross? By looking at the phenotype of the plant, it is not possible to explain the genotypic combination of the same plant. To determine the genotype of a tall plant at F2 generation, Mendel proposed a new method. He crossed the tall plant from the F2 generation with a dark plant and this process is called a test cross. In a typical test cross, an organism showing a dominant phenotype is crossed with the recessive parent instead of self-crossing. In the picture, you can see that the purple flower producing plant genotype is unknown. So, they cross this plant with a homozygous recessive white flower producing plant and the resulting offsprings are purple in color. That means the unknown plant was homozygous in nature. In the second part of the picture, you can see that it produced both purple and white flowers. That means it is heterozygous in nature. Based on all his observation, Mendel proposed two principles or laws of inheritance. The first law or law of dominance. The second law or law of segregation. Law of dominance. Characters are controlled by units called factors. Factors always occurs in pair. In a dissimilar pair of factors, one member of the pair always dominate over the other. The expression of only one of the parental character in a monohybrid cross in the F1 and the expression of both in the F2 generation is the basis of law of dominance. And it also explains the proportion 3 used to 1 obtained at the F2 generation. Law of segregation. Based on the fact that the alleles do not show any blending and that both the characters are recovered as such in F2 generation. The one character which is not seen in the F1 stage is also recovered in the F2 stage. Though the parents contain two alleles during gamete formation, the factors or alleles of a pair segregate from each other such that the gamut receives only one of the two factors. This is called law of segregation. A homozygous parent produces all gametes that are similar, while a heterozygous one produces two kinds of gametes, each having one allele with equal proportion. Thank you. In the next video, we will be discussing about the other aspects of inheritance and variation.